Welcome back to another scripting tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a sprint when you uh, press the shift button inside of Roblox. You can use this for your parkour game. You can use this for a combat system. You can use this however you want. So, with that being said, please consider subscribing, liking this video. It keeps me motivated to keep uploading these tutorials. So, let's start we only need one script for this uh, to work and it will be placed inside of the starter uh, character i think yeah starter character script so we're gonna add a script here you can rename this to spring um, you can rename this to whatever you want <coughs> and we're gonna type out some variables so i comment out <laughs> We're gonna uh, we're gonna add the user input service, which we will be using in order to use our shift button to sprint. We're gonna get the player, so we can reference the player who wants to sprint. We're gonna reference the character, uh, player the character, character, uh, or player the character added. Uh, wait so the player has loaded and we're also gonna reference the humanoid which will do the character with the child humanoid perfect so first of all we're gonna use our input service so user input service dot input bn so when we press a button uh, connect and we're gonna connect the function to this and we're gonna type input and we're also gonna get the game processed so like you can see up here we need the game processed event which will be a boolean do not do not worry about that but this input object is uh, what we will what we need so if we press a button it will look for this input which we will set to a input that key code equals enum dot key code dot yeah. left shift so uh, then so it uh, so when we press a button it will look for this input and so if we press for example f on our keyboard this input will be f but it nothing will happen because we said if the input is left shift then something will happen so if we and now we can set the walk speed so we can do juvenile dot walk speed equals uh 30 for example so we will double the walk speed and if we go ahead and test this out right now you will see how so if i now for example press f on my keyboard uh here we go f nothing happened but if i press shift our walk speed gets changed so now we're gonna do uh, because now when we press shift the walk speed will, will be 30 but when we release it will still be 30 so it does not uh, reset so we're gonna say using service of input embed gonna connect it to a function like up here and we're gonna pass through the input and game processed like before and we're gonna say if input dot key code equals even dot key code dot left shift then we're gonna set the human of walk speed to 16 so the normal walk speed for a character is 16 and if we go ahead and test this out now so if i now press the left shift we will start running and i'm holding the left shift right now and if i release it the, the walk speed gets reset to the normal and if i press left shift again it works so that's perfect uh, you can add an animation for this if you would like i will not do that but yeah so this is how you make a <clears throat> this is how you make a left shift sprint system very easy not complicated 
complicated at all please uh, comment down in the description if you want me to add animation to this and show you how to make that but with that being said hope you enjoyed the video goodbye